Today we're going to talk about dumping planner tasks to a list. So ultimately to a list that looks like this. So we have different information here. So let's go ahead and jump right into it on what we need to do to dump planner tasks into a list. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right into it. So here we're within Power Automate. So I just wanted to start here to show you all of the things that you need within Power Automate in order to populate a list with your planner tasks. Now, remember that there are limitations with lists. A list can only hold 5,000 entries total. And if you're using a list, for example, to show information in Power Apps, if you're dumping stuff from Planner to get it into Power Apps, there's some limitations there. I believe the limit there is 2,000 tasks. So if you have a lot of tasks, be careful on the solution that you choose. This example is going to go over dumping data to a list. See other video that I have on dumping it to an Excel spreadsheet and other formats. So let's, let's get right to this. So the first thing you want to do is do a reoccurrence. This reoccurrence is basically a timed reoccurrence. So in this example, we're dumping all tasks. So we're going to dump every single task from a plan and we're going to erase this list on a daily basis. So there's another video on the channel on erasing a SharePoint list with Power Automate. View that. So here let's, we're, this recurrence could be anything. Once a week, once a day, once a month, whatever. Here we're going to list tasks. Pretty simple. List tasks is the name of the action within Power Automate and put in the name of the group and the plan. And again, list plans for the group right here. And when you copy this, this will be the two things that you change. Everything below there, once we started initializing these variables and, and the rest of this flow, uh, you're not gonna need to, to modify. So you could create one for sample two, one for sample. Now there are other ways to put switches in to do them all in one flow. But just, I'm trying to keep it simple so that everybody can do it. So, so if you follow along, this is pretty simple. So here we're setting up initializing two variables. Again, remember, I don't change this. So if you type in initialize variable, you should come up with the right one inside of Power Automate. Now, I will tell you, just as a note, Power Automate does have some restrictions based on your subscription level, but all of these appear on the lowest level. I think it's E3 um, level. So their, their inexpensive Office 365 plan has these. So we're going to initialize the variable plan ID. It's a string and we're going to do assigned ID as a string as well. And these are just the names of the variables. I like to put them in there so that I remember it makes it easier for me. Then here, and you can see my notes here, pause the video and read through my notes, but here we're going to do an apply to each. So that's the action that we're going to build here. So add this to your flow. Remember, you'll just click on the plus button, which will be here, right? And add it to the flow value. And then value assignments, add the get user profile, V2. That's the action. And then the UPN, we want to match the user ID to value assignments. That's it. Then we're going to create one more loop, apply to each. We're going to use value here again, and we're going to set the variable for the plan ID um, to be value title. So here we're setting this variable. It's important to note here that um, we initialize the variable here, right here, plan ID, and then we set the variable here, and we're, we're basically putting in the ID of the plan itself and we're making it more um, human, right? So uh, text-based, not just a bunch of numbers. So, and then we're gonna set the variable for the assigned ID as well and we're doing it display name. So remember that we're getting display name appearing here now because we have this inside of our flow. Remember, it's a flow starting from the top and going down. So if I have this get user profile. Now, when I go into my Power Automate, I'm going to see things like display name with the Windows logo. Remember, Windows logo, all good there. So, here we're just assigning the variable, setting it. 
moving it to be display name so that when we display this information, it's going to come out as a name and not an ID number. All right. And then we just need to create an item inside of SharePoint. So here we're just going to put in whatever our SharePoint site is. And you just click on this down button to find out where it is. Put in your list here. Here I've just added value percent complete, value created date, value due date. These are standards right within when you click on it, the little box will appear here. Or if your screen's small, it'll appear here. And I'll show you some of that in just a moment. And um, those are the entries that you want to put in there. And then notice here for the plan ID and for the assigned information, we're using the variables that we've set in these two previous steps. Remember the assigned ID variable and the plan ID that we set. Okay. <clears throat> and then that will just work. All right. And then, um, and then you just want to copy when you make a copy. So remember, we used sample two. Let's say, let me see, what do we use in the first? We use sample two there too. But let's say that we want to change this to sample or another group ID. We just click on the down arrow, pick the other one, just change this and just save it as, you know, sample or Mickey Mouse or whatever the name of the group is. Okay, but we leave all of this the same and it'll just work perfectly. And then this is your output. So your output file is pretty simple. Notice here, I've circled the things in red because they're different, right? We pulled the percentage complete. Uh, sample, right, is different, different plans, and they're identified here as the plans, right? Because we captured the plan ID right here. So we're illustrating it here. And then, of course, the created dates are different. You can see that. And then the due date's different. And then the assigned comes out, and that doesn't show up real well, but uh, you can see two different names under assigned. So if you didn't get all that, pause the video. I'm going to go back through it one last time. I'm not going to talk about the screens. I'm going to flip through. This is So this is you're creating your flow inside of Power Automate. So let's go over to Power Automate. And let's take a look, see what that looks like. So we're just building our flow right from the top. We go here. We, we trigger or whatever this one that we're doing here is a scheduled so we're just going to give it a name and then it's going to come up this is a when a task is created one i'm sorry it's a wrong one that's on the other video um let's look at this one here all right so here we have that reoccurrence and then we list out the tasks we list out the group we initialize the variable and then we apply everything here we gather the profile, we apply here to capture that plan ID, and then we set the variable for the assigned ID, and then we'll plug everything right in. And what I was saying here was, notice this data is right here. So if I look for value, you could just search on yours, right? Value title, I can see right here, value title. Now, I'm pulling it from um, here, the top, the title of the plan, or in this case, it's a title of the task. So I'm going to pull it from right here. Value title. Remember right here? Do you see that right there? Okay. So that means it's coming from list tasks too. So that's coming from this right here. Okay. And then this right here is coming from list plans for a group. It's coming from there. Okay. So that's pretty much how you do that. If you click on here, notice here, get user profile, right? Apply to plan. So that's the first loop right here, right? And then this right here is this get user profile. That's where all the data is coming from. And then plan for a group. That's where that data is. And then the tasks, that was, that's where that data is. So I hope, and then the second loop right here, and then the third loop. So you can see where all of this data comes from. Remember, it is a flow. It's a flow. That's why perhaps they called it flow initially. It flows from the top all the way down to execute at the bottom. And then don't forget, when you get done, you want to go ahead and hit test. And um, I've disabled this one, but then you just hit manual and run test. So uh, that's about it for creating. That's, it's as easy as that. You can dump data, any type of data you want um, outside into, into a list. I would just want to just leave on this note. 
If you're doing a lot, if there are a lot of tasks in the environment, thousands of tasks, th these loops here, this apply to each, could be time consuming in running those tasks. It runs it great for a couple dozen or a couple dozen plans. But if you have a lot of tasks, I would strongly suggest that you look at the other video that I have that goes through, um, we started it here. It is Excel. So it dumps the data into OneDrive and into Excel. But the difference is in this video is that it's spawned only when a new task is created. So you're not regenerating it every single time.